Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona uh, 3 Portable, almost a Persona 4 Golden. No, we're not there yet. We are on a different game. We're going to go ahead and continue today. We have not seen anything new recently. Uh, it's just been social links. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue that. This evening, I've already got to talk to everybody last time. We're going to hang out with Ken for the evening. Oh, same restaurant again. Ken ordered a ginger pork meal, but he doesn't seem to be eating much. Yeah, either one of you can say here. I'm gonna say you're gonna eat that. Ah, no, 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 you can't. Ken begins eating hurriedly. Erp. Hmm. I had some snacks a little while ago. Is it true that you won't get big and strong if you don't eat right? Uh, you wanna say that it's true. I see, then I'll eat all of this too. Ken tries hard to eat the food in front of him. Could something have happened to him? Uh, you can say anything here. I'm gonna say, why do you want to be bigger? Why? Because I'm small. Ken seems a little embarrassed. Um, it'd be nice if I could be like Akihiko-san. Um, Katone-san. You'd prefer someone like Akihiko-san too, right? Uh, you want to say, nope, not at all. Oh, really? I think he's cool. Ken looks downwards. A lot of silence in this one. I want to hurry and become an adult. Ken has a serious look on his face. There must be something on Ken's mind. You feel like you, you understand Ken a little better now. Um, okay, so a lot of silence as I said, but Ken wants to become an adult, like now, for some reason. Oh, you can't eat anymore, Katone-san. If you get any bigger, I won't be able to catch up to you. Hmm, Ken continues wolfing down his rice. All right, so apparently he's upset that I'm gonna get bigger. <laughs> he wants to be bigger faster. This is foreshadowing. Can you overhear a conversation? Hey, have you been to the film festival yet? The theater by the station is hosting it, right? I lost count of how often I went there over summer break. I hear there's going to be another festival on the 23rd. Wanna go? Now nah, pass on this one. I forgot what this one's theme is, but I remember it's all kitty. Um, so the 23rd, there will be another set of um, what do you want to call it? Movies. The clouds look ominous. You should head back to the dorm. So basically you can't do anything here because the tsunami, not tsunami, um, typhoon is here. As you can hear. You are drenched from the rain. You're shivering. You weren't quick enough, huh? Everyone is sitting around the lounge. It seems that, it seems they happen to gather in the midst of the storm. According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Supposedly it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly too, so it'll be around for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, <laughs> setting all that stuff up is a pain, so I don't mind. But it sucks that we'll be stuck indoors. So, how are you gonna spend your break? I have plans. Oh. Well, hopefully the weather will clear up. What about you, Fuka? Me? Well, the only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Oh, a movie. Is it a date? It's... it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. She absolutely loves movies. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll be able to go. How about you, Yukatan? Will you still have practice? I doubt it. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. What about you, senpai? I haven't decided. Besides, what business is it of yours, Iori? Me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she has stabilized, we cannot release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She wants me to come. Not to brag or anything. Oh, jeez. I, uh, just thought I should check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Is that so? What's up with him? Um, well... You don't know either? Oh, yeah. He's in love. Kenkun, what are you going to do during the break? Oh, nothing in particular. Come on, you have to be doing something. Well, I'll probably go visit the shrine. 
Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. But that's where I always go. I guess you could say I made a vow. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm going back to my room. I have a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Well, call me if you get stuck. There's something else going on there. Ken returned to his room. Something's going on there. All right, let's talk to some people. Um, you want to talk to people? Yeah, we're going to talk to everybody. This building was damaged by that shadow back in April. I wonder if there are any leaks in it. I hope this building didn't get damaged as badly as my ribs. Due to the cancellation of the festival, we will receive five days off from um, school. We will have the weekend off. The 21st is Respect for the Age Day. The 22nd is a national holiday, and the 23rd is the uh, uh, autumnal equinox. We should spend this time wisely. I hate to say this, but I am so happy the festival got canceled. I mean, come on, a maid outfit? I'd rather stand outside in the middle of a typhoon than have to wear a maid outfit. We can't see Yucatan in a maid outfit now because the festival was canceled. Man, I wanted her to be my waitress. Ugh. Uh, have her wait on her heat. <laughs> so, uh, you can say whatever you want here, but I'm gonna say have her wait on you here. Are you kidding? She'd murder me and hide my body in a closet. Uh, let's talk to Mitsuru here. The student council president, I am saddened to hear the festival has been canceled. I suggested that the date be rescheduled, but it seems that won't happen. Well, there's nothing one can do to hinder na Mother Nature's will. You're all wet. Are you all right? You don't look so good. I don't think you should go to Tartarus tonight. You should just rest. Yeah, just rest tonight. I don't think anyone wants to go to Tartarus in all this wind and rain anyway. Um, no, it shows, this actually doesn't show you a six, so that's interesting. Let's talk to Shinjiro over here. Making a wish. Tch, why can't he act like a normal kid? I don't think you can talk to him when he's in his room. Okay, oh yeah, he's not responding. So anyway, we're gonna go back to our room. You have no options. You have to sleep this evening. Your body is cold all over as if you've come down with an illness. You are incredibly sleepy. Now you don't get an option here. You fall asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. Except for it's midnight, so apparently that's a thing. Do typhoons continue through the dark hour? I don't know. I'm guessing so. Hey! This is the Velvet Room? I have been waiting for you. I prefer this Igor's voice over the Persona 5 Igor's voice, by the way. If you guys haven't played that, you can look up his voice. It is so deep. It's really creepy. I last summoned you in your dreams quite some time ago. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered my assistance. Now then, your special power, Persona. Have you been using it wisely? Uh, of course. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. Henceforth, you shall be able to fuse four or more personas. I am certain that this will be of great benefit to you. New fusions are possible. But now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Until we meet again. Farewell. I like how Theodore is just standing in the background there. All right, so. We don't get an option. You skip forward until the 21st because you got sick with the cold. You seem to have slept for a long time. The typhoon has completely passed. Through the window, the sky looks clear. You feel refreshed. Today is respect for the aged day. The holiday lasts until the 23rd. You have a few days to do nothing. <laughs> All right, let's head down to the first floor here. The physical condition of a fighter is very important. No matter how strong you are, if you don't feel well, you won't last long in the ring. Thank you, Akihiko. Oh, you seem to be feeling better. Why don't you go get some fresh air? It's really nice out. Are you feeling okay, senpai? You should take today to rest. Let's watch some television here. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Our subject today is a girl in her 20s with a very original short hairstyle. She studied overseas and speaks fluent English. She is as intelligent as she is beautiful. Next in, in next is news. Pain, pain, go away. Uh, Koromaru is here. And he just barks. Nice. I'm glad you're feeling better now. But don't be careless or you might get sick again. How are you feeling? I feel fine now. Then let's explore Tartarus. Oh my goodness. Good morning. I'm here to monitor the condition of your health. Your temperature, pulse, and breathing have all returned to normal. Congratulations on surviving your illness. Well, thank you! 
They say idiots never get sick. That means since you got sick, that makes you smart. Good for you. Take it easy. This dude's happy about it. Caught a little cold, huh? Glad to see you're feeling better. I think that's it for here. So we're going out to town today and to do some stuff. So let's start with uh, heading to the mall here. We got a bunch of stuff to do. Let's talk to these guys. A woman in my neighborhood said that part of her roof was destroyed by the typhoon. No matter how much we try to prevent disasters, there's no way we completely guard against them. Well, I don't know. You can't trust those building contractors, you know. It could be that her house was just made of cheap non-regulation materials. Glad to see that that's also a problem in Japan. So the culture festival was called off on account of the typhoon, huh? What a waste. Well, don't be too sad, youngsters. You've got plenty of time to live, so you can wait for the next one. Uh, lots of, um, lost around again. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and- ooh, it's, it's, okay, there we go. Let's head into, uh, the Velvet Room here. We got some people that are wandering around TARDIS. We're not gonna worry about that right now. Alright. I see you have a CD with you. Gekko Khan Boogie? Gekko means moonlight, and Boogie is a type of fast-paced dancing move. Oh, I get it. So this Gekko Khan Boogie here... It's what you would play at an outdoor nighttime rave under a full moon, correct? Interestingly enough, uh, that little translation of moonlight, so you're going to Gekko Khan and Gekko Khan has the word moonlight in uh, the name, so. That would be an interesting party to attend, especially with the shadows. Oh, the lyrics are included inside. Everybody was haiku writing. Those kids were fast as lightning. I'm not sure I understand what that has to do with the moon. In any case, to reward this time is something you should be familiar with. Please do not ask how I obtained it. And uh, we get an orange cut saw, or cutsu. Um, but it's just kind of funny <laughs> that they, yeah, the lyrics. All right, here's another quest. That sharp, shining knife. This is the knife I asked for. It's incredible. It seems as though it's been in use for a long time, but it's almost as sharp as the day it was made. And I would bet it could cut through many things, not just fruit. As a variety of uses, you can cut things, open cans, peel vegetables. It's an all-purpose cooking tool. What's this? There's something written on the handle. It's a, it's a bit hard to read, but let's see. Graduation gift orphanage. It seems that this was very important to its owner. This is what I asked for, but I cannot take something so significant. Please keep it. It's kind of interesting that he mentions that we get an axe from him, but yeah, uh, kind of kind of cool to see that. Little the little things. Uh, let's see here. We want to. There should be a new quest here. I'd like a drink with my sister's name, so we're gonna go ahead and accept this one. Yeah, I heard there's a drink in your world that shares my sister's name. I'd like to try it someday. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take that. We'll be back to turn this in shortly. Uh, but first of all, let me go ahead and um, Shinjiro. We can equip the guillotine axe. There, you can see it's almost double the um, attack damage. There, that's very nice. We actually... I'm gonna go ahead and replace him with what we had originally. Uh, we can keep the beanie. Um, you can keep the guillotine axe, doesn't matter. But I'm doing that for a reason, so don't worry about it. And then um, we got the orange... Cuts you... Um... Is that an item? Is that for somebody? Was that a, something I could... I don't actually... I don't know... What that was. I feel like that was an item. But I didn't see it. Hang on a second here. Now you go. I'm sure you guys are all excited to get going here. To continue. I seriously didn't see it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do a Google search. Anyway, we're gonna go to town map here for- I'm not- I'm seriously not quite sure what that is then. I thought- okay, whatever. Um, we're going to the outskirts. This is where we're going. Is there anything here we want to talk to? I don't think so. Oh, it is. It's an armor piece. Hang on a second here. Okay, so I'm not completely out of my mind. I'm just slightly out of my mind. There it is. Um, summer female clothes for the f uh, for the female main character. Uh, let me go ahead and take this off. Um, it's what I'm wearing right now. 
Uh, we want to go here. Your voice is from below. Whoa, not bad. I bet this will be popular. And so this is a little bar. We're gonna go ahead and enter here. Sorry, we're not open yet. Hey, aren't you still in high school? You're not supposed to be here. Hmm, you look like you've been around the block a time or two. It must be fake. Can you try this new cocktail I roped up? Oh, don't worry, there's no alcohol in it. It's my own little concoction. I'm hoping to expand our clientele. Cheers. You drank the cocktail. It's the perfect balance between sweet and sour. It has a refreshing flavor. So what do you think? Good, huh? You wanna say delicious, right? I knew you'd like it. Tell you what, I'll give you a bottle of it on the house. I'm gonna go home and catch some Z's. Come back when you're legal and I'll let you try the good stuff. And we get the Queen Elizabeth. That's what we wanted. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna head back. Oh, uh, we should have talked to the two guy, whatever, it's fine. They don't tell us anything interesting anyway. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this in now. So this is the drink that has my sister's name, Queen Elizabeth. It does say Elizabeth, there's no denying it. But when I hold it up before me, I feel chills running up and down my spine. Is it just my imagination? I shall refrain from drinking this. Now as a reward this time, I've prepared something for your friends. I like wearing clothing like this myself sometimes. I think I'd look better in it than my master. What do you think? <laughs> so you get the summer outfit for Junpei. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take another quest here. And we're going to take Find Me a Beautiful Tile. And uh, we're not gonna be taking care of that today, but we'll be taking care of that later, so don't worry about it. Just uh, trying to split the quests up a little bit so that we're, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. It's cool, it's cool, I got excited. Got excited with my fingers. We're leaving. <laughs> All right, so the next place we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit up is gonna be the strip mall. Let's talk to these kids here. What should I do? The cat went somewhere. No one knows where he went. Maybe it was because of the typhoon? Or typhoon? What the hell? If he could have come home with me before, this wouldn't have happened. When you order a medium beef bowl, order a raw egg with it and drop it into the beef bowl. If you can get the egg in the middle of the bowl, I heard you can become more popular at school. You know, this place has always looked kind of trashy, have done, you know, like, the uh, different oil spots and stuff. I don't remember it looking quite this bad, but maybe I'm just imagining things. We're going to the shrine now. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to these people. Huh, I still get the sense that someone's following me. There's someone over there. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Damn, I missed my chance to talk to her. All I do is see these days is follow her around. What should I do? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull a fortune. We're gonna choose friends, someone else, and we're gonna choose Fuka here. All right, so blessings to the believer. Today's luck is very good luck. No financial worries and great health. There's something inside. Woo, we finally got a lucky charm and we found 10,000 yen. Today's our lucky day and our condition has improved to great. Um, you do more I think you take up, dude? less damage and do more damage to wait great. I'm actually not sure. Um, but yeah, you can see here that we are in great condition now. And we got an item. We got a lucky, let me just go ahead and check that out. We got the, okay, is that not? I thought that was an item. I mean, it is an item. I thought it was the thing you could equip. Was I wrong? Oh, there it is. Lucky charm, came with your fortune, might please someone. Oh, it's just an item you give, so that's pretty cool though. Um, nothing exciting there. Junpei got some new clothes. I don't know if those are better than his winter clothes. It ups his HP, but the same defense. Maybe we can check those out later. All right, let's talk to Ken here. That was a pretty big typhoon. I bet a lot of buildings were destroyed. Yukari-san and Fuka-san were really scared during it. Were you scared during it too, Katone-san? Uh, yeah, a little. I was a little scared too. Let's see here, let's talk to, I guess. While you were resting, a typhoon passed through town. Not much damage was incurred. There's nothing else to report. It's about Yukari here. How are you feeling? Still a little sniffly? Just because you're a lot better now doesn't mean you should push yourself. Oh yeah, I brought you some gelatin. Feel free to have some. You should eat things that are easy to digest since you've only just gotten better. I'm glad everybody here is trying to take care of me. 
Dude, that typhoon was crazy. Everything was flying through the air. Well, not everything, I guess. I mean, I didn't see a ramen stand flying through the air. Oh, I wish I could have seen that. That is the doorbell that I'm not going to go get. I'm glad you weren't sick for very long. It's most likely because you rested for two days straight. Oh, I'm very glad of that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spend some time with koromaro san here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go out. And we're just gonna spend the evening with him. I don't think our relationship is going to improve. We got a balm of life from this. And yeah, so we just spent some time with him. Nothing big there. Okay. So it's a national holiday. There's no... Oh, we're gonna call from the velvet room here. Good morning, this is Theodore. There is a human, two of them, I think, wandering around Tartarus. Please carry out a search and rescue. Goodbye now. All right. All right, so if people are gonna call me here. Um, sorry I'm tied up right now. Oh my gosh. Who else is calling me? It's Bebe. We are not hanging out with Bebe today. All right, so. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and go down to the first floor here. I think Shinjiro is down here and it says to talk to him. There we go. Tartarus and the Dark Hour are still here, huh? Damn it, why won't they just disappear? Hmm. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and just save here. We have uh, quite a bit more to do before we head into Tartarus, but that should be it. For now, we've been sick. We've done a couple social link type stuff. We completed quite a, a number of quests there. Uh, so it's all pretty good. We've got some more quests to com or more social links. We're gonna be just getting through a bunch of them very soon here. And then um, we'll be going to Tartarus at the end of the month. So about a week from today. So shortly before the full moon. So I will see you guys next time.